right before uh, the semester started for my son, who um, started in the ninth grade, came over to the house and we were just talking about the different schools that we were gonna um, have him attend. And um, he suggested that maybe we give uh, Catholic Central a try. Um, and which, at that point, we were like, oh, okay, that's great. Private institution, didn't know if that was going to like fit in the budget and things like that. But it was also, um, our number one goal for Jacob is to make sure he has the, you know, the best education, the best opportunities possible. So we, we kind of sat down and, you know, talked to him and he was like, well, let's do a tour and then we'll see where we go from there. Well, it was a lot going through my mind at the first because coming to this school, we knew it would be different for my child to try to adapt, but after talking to my wife and she said some things straight, we came into the school and saw it. It was, I thought it was a wonderful opportunity for them to come here and get his education. They're doing things he liked to do and we went from there. What made me choose Catholic Central really was Jacob and who he is as an individual. He is, he, he's a lot of things. Like, you know, he likes track and field, he likes esports, he's an artist, um, and he just, robotics, science, so he just likes a lot of things. And what Catholic Central allowed us to do was to give him an opportunity to explore all of the aspects of him, not necessarily in, like, well, one of the, um, the schools that I mentioned was more geared toward like like top athletics and I don't think that at least knowing my son he may not have been able to fit in well there and I didn't want him to try and have to mold himself to kind of fit into a group and what Catholic Central gave us was an opportunity for him to say hey if I want to you know explore my art a little bit more or my esports or my track and field a little bit more it gave him options as opposed to you know, limiting him or just kind of putting him in, in a box. Well, the tour of the school was great. We had a good tour. The gym, the eSports, it's just the, the whole building itself, the education, the, the environment, the people around us were all nice and friendly talking to us. They welcomed us in, they welcomed us in to the school with open arms. It, it was a good opportunity, I, I love that. I was a little skeptical, but my thought process is to jump feet first. That's just how I handle everything. The, how, the reason that I was skeptical is because um, Jacob comes from um, charter schools, from National Heritage Academy. So his environment was a bit diverse, and I recognized that this environment was not as diverse as what he was used to. So I was just kind of worried if he would be um, comfortable or not. They've been met, um, and in certain areas they've, they've been exceeded, but for the most part, they have been met. We've had um, a couple of challenges, um, cultural challenges, um, and we've been able to address those and with good outcomes. Um, so, you know, just kind of as an example, communication between Jacob and one of his teachers, it was something that he felt uncomfortable with, and so I felt that I had to, you know, have a conversation with, uh, with one of the teachers, and it, Initially, it was because he felt uncomfortable. That is the reason that I felt that I had to step in and through communication and just kind of like a little bit of education, it was recognized that, okay, this is something that the teacher had not encountered or experienced before. So um, at that point, I, you know, I told Jacob, I was like, this is one of the things that we had previously discussed and it's not a bad thing, but it is about interaction and engagement. So I was, that exceeded my expectation because initially I thought I was going to have to come in um, in a different mindset, but uh, I, it, after the communication and engagement, it, I was really pleasantly surprised at how um, well it was, we, the communication and engagement was received. Accept the challenge. It's a great school. He'll enjoy it. He'll love it. Um, find out what your child's interests are and then um, let the administration know because they will guide you to all of those spaces so that um, it can be geared towards your child's education. The school has all the tools and resources for Jacob to be successful, but the one thing that um, I like the most is the connectivity that he will have after high school because those are the type of connections that you normally get in college, but this is gonna carry him for the rest of his life. Jacob, 
ran track most of all his life. They saw us well in the chairs, and it's like, okay, we can do this next time instead of staying up. So we, we had some good conversation with some families, open arms. Yeah, so the same thing. Um, Jacob has a good friend group uh, here. I mean, like a really good friend group. They look out for him, they take care of him, and I was, um, that, that makes me feel comfortable as, as a parent because this is, I mean, it's a distance, you know, driving, um, you know, coming to pick him up with a bus and things like that, and that was, busing was new for him, but he has a really good friend group uh, that, you know, he interacts with on a regular basis, and the same thing when we meet the parents at like the track meets and things like that, they're, they're welcoming. I, I believe that the, the faculty really cares about the, the students.